हेलो टू ऑल वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑफेंसिव हैकर एसोसिएट कम्युनिटी एंड वेलकम टू अनोदर हैकिंग एपिसोड ऑफ हैकर एसोसिएट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सिसमोन एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग लाइक हाउ टू कन्फिगर सिसमोन एंड वॉट इज द मेन पर्पज ऑफ सिसमोन सो आई हैव सीन दैट लाइक मालवेयर एनालिस्ट सोक इंजीनियर और थ्रेड हंटर मे बी इवन इफ यू कैन चेक इन क्लाउड इन्वॉर्मेंट most of the people okay they are using sysmon utility so in today's section okay we are going to learn about what is sysmon and how to use it sysmon effectively i am harshad founder and ceo of hacker associate let's begin so let me just go to my notes and uh, even if you go to the website of that one sysmon for example let's see if you go here sysmon and today basically i am going to talk on threat hunting perspective okay so you can use this particular framework anywhere by the way if you are malware analyst or if you are working in soc if you are working in red teaming activity if you are working in cloud environment anywhere you can use this tool another beauty of this particular tool is basically uh, it is an open source framework so you don't require any payment other thing and even whatever i am doing right now you can also repeat each and every step with me as well so here okay basically the tool you can simple download it and after that okay you can see that here are some examples are given there and i am recommending okay don't go to this section and and configure accordingly okay i am going to give the particular command that command only you can use it and you can install the particular sysmon in your environment so let understand what exactly is sysmon so when you talk about sysmon basically we are using uh, for event monitoring and it is a windows internal utility So when you talk about Sysmon, um, basically it look like this Sysmon 64. Okay, you need to navigate to the particular path, and you can simple check. Okay, that you will see 64 binary will be available there. 64 bit binary will be available there. So before jumping into the practical part, let un- let understand little bit about the Sysmon. So when you talk about system monitor, basically we call Sysmon is a Windows system service and device driver. that once installed system remain resident across system reboot to monitor and log system activity to window event log and another point you need to remember is the last one the sysmon does not provide analysis of the event it generate nor does it attempt to protect or hide itself from an attacker okay so basically whatever you do in your environment whatever you do in your system okay like each and everything captured by the sysmon utility let's see how it can be okay i'm going to show you practically and you can use the same way accordingly okay and this is basically the overview of sysmon capability let understand some capabilities of sysmon so first is a log process creation with full command line for both current and parent processes record the hash of the process image file using sha the default md5 sha256 or imp hash this is a good one and multiple hashes can be used at the same time then after that uh, include a process guide in a process create event to allow for correlation of event even when window reuses process id include the session guide in each event to allow correlation of event on the same logon session and so on and another important point which you need to remember is or you can make a note it uh, this is optionally logs network connection including each connection source process ip address port number host name and port port names and this i'm going to show you practical okay so before jumping into any of the practical part you always need to understand the tool functionality the fundamental of the particular tool why we require the tool and lots of other things okay you need to understand first then you jump into the practical part this is the best way okay of learning otherwise what will happen you go to the tool you go to the cheat sheet and okay and after some time you will forget the thing what you have done it right so it's very very important focus on the architecture side first understand the tool section first read all the point necessary points make a proper note and then okay you jump to the practical part so here's a skin to it look like this and i'm going to show you completely okay like how it look like how to configure it and, and so on so now let's start it so i require okay like first my windows machine so let me do a remote desktop <coughs> so i'm doing a remote desktop this is my machine and i'm entering the credential and going to continue continue <coughs> so you can see that okay like i had taken the remote desktop and now uh, i'm going to do 
I'm just going to the file explorer and you need to download this tool basically. So in my case here, okay, it is there okay inside the D drive and here is basically cyber threatening folder. You can go there and here okay is Windows internal and here you can see we have a Sysmon config script available and this is basically Sysmon 64 exe file available there right so you need to navigate to the path first like this and you need to open the powershell window and let me exit from this section and you can simply use cd paste the path and then dir and you can see clearly we have a sysmon 64.exe binary will be available there right so in order to install it okay like here is the command you can use it the number one command is this one sysmon 64.exe minus i minus h md5 minus ln and if you are new to this particular command i will show you you can use help system sysmon64.exe and minus h and you can clearly see that we have these options are available so i for installation c for update configuration okay and u for uninstall and lot more okay, options are available there so feel free to experiment all this stuff next section is like uh, once you install it okay after this particular command you can easily check okay under the services section so when you simply go to the services section here right click run as administrator you will see here sysmon will be available here so and it is alphabetical order so you can simply search here s and then search for sysmon which is here right so when you look at the sysmon 64 even if you want to restart the service you want to stop the service you simple right click and you can see that we have a stop we have a restart okay part available there another part is you can simply go to the event viewer you can simply right click run as administrator you can go there and after that you can simply click on the application section which is here it is going to load just wait for few minutes and you can see this is the microsoft here is the windows and again this is alphabetical order you can simply go there and just go to the sysmon directory which is here right and you can see this is basically operational thing under this particular tree and here you can note down the time right now okay you can see that the time 6 okay here and here exactly we have a 6 pm right so what i'm going to show you here is okay like whatever i do in my system is going to record each and every activity but remember you always follow my document which i have shared with you okay that is very very important why because if you see the documentation here available and if i show you one command here you can see that if you are installing sysmon with the default setting then you can see that clearly the process images has with sha and no network monitoring you're not able to do a network monitoring if you use default configuration the recommendation is okay you can use some config file so if you don't know what config file you can use it i'm giving you the link you can simply download it so you can simply go here shift on security okay and simple just search sysmon and you can see one github page will come there or you can simple search here shift on security and type here github enter and you can see this is the first page you can open it up and you can go to this particular link sysmon config after that okay you can simple go to this particular xml you download it and you save okay in your folder so in my case if you can see that if i go to file explorer this is my config file available okay under this folder and you can also see here outside as well right and if you go here to the terminal and if you just type dir you can see that we have that xml file there so how to import it how to use this configuration file right this is a question in your mind simple use 6.64.exe minus c and then <coughs> use that particular script whatever okay we have so in my case we have a sysmon config this script just press enter and you are done with this stuff right so if you see that particular my document stuff okay if you go downside i have also given that command you can use it this is basically configuration thing and once you do this part okay you need to go to the services section and you need to restart the services and then after that you can go to the event section and you can click on the operational that part right so first we install it and then second okay like we check the services then the third part okay we check the event viewer after that we downloaded the configuration file okay again we downloaded and then we imported and we restart the services again we open that event viewer this is the sequence wise okay after that what you need to do is uh, as i mentioned everything is fully configured now so whatever you do is going to record it so let's test it so whatever we configured it here just now 
like the sysmon able to detect our things or not let's how to let's how to do this okay how to test it so i'm going to show you how we can achieve this particular task simple you can go to the powershell first again and uh, what i can do is i'm going to start okay like ping command so for example let's say if i type here ping add dot add dot add dot add and you can see that here is a ping utility and you can see it is now done right now next command is i'm going to use ns lookup press enter and i'm going to search hacker associate.com press enter same way i'm going to use uh, google.com oh this is my query okay <coughs> so now you can see you have done ping you have used ping utility and second okay you have used ns lookup right let's see like the sysmon have detected this thing or not so when you simple go to the sysmon and go to the operation you can see the time stamp which is 64 right now so just go here to 63 and you can clearly see that we have that ping add dot add dot add dot add perfect right so whatever you have done it you can see clearly each and every information will be available here and if you go downside you can clearly see that someone have typed add dot add dot add dot add okay and even you can, you can check here someone have opened nslookup.exe again if you go there you can see nslookup.exe and you can go downside and might be uh, you'll be getting that query as well so i need to search okay like where i'm getting that query this is nslookup.exe detected <coughs> and uh, here it is okay the details about that event and you can check each and every information will be available here okay that's how you can check it again i'm going to click here and then you can see that again what informations are coming here so that's how okay you can analyze the thing okay i'm just checking some part okay which i'm looking for here so this is windows and this is something different okay this is our ns lookup okay let's do one more okay ping and then check it out so example let's say i'll exit from here and if I type ping hacker associate dot com, let's see one more time it is coming or not. So if I just go here and then go to the op operational and this is 65 and you can see that this is a query name hacker associate dot com, right? So as I mentioned, whatever you do, you'll be able to record it. And there are two things here, okay, uh, event and incident, right? And here you can see there is an event ID is available. You always remember the event ID. Remember in the sense you just make a note of that event ID. It's very very important. So right now I'm not going in detail of this. Okay, this uh, part okay I'm going to cover okay in my next cyber threat hunting session. And if you are interested okay in cyber threat hunting and malware analysis and reverse engineering, you can check my program which are available okay under the training section. This is my malware analysis reverse engineering a complete a black hat approach. And another is cyber threat hunting. Again, okay, you'll be uh, learning a lot of thing in detail, okay, under this particular program. Okay, so this is all for this particular section. I hope you enjoy this particular video. Have a great day ahead. See you soon in the next episode.